Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on logic gates in digital logic design, ORR digital electronics, ORR switching TV and logic design. In this video, we have to discuss about uh, what is logic gate, what are the types of logic gates that we are discussed in this video. Okay. So, suppose we are constructing a digital system, for that purpose, we have to use some basic building blocks. Here, the basic building blocks are logic gates. So, hence we can say that by using these logic gates, we have to design our digital system. Hence, we can say that logic gates are the basic building blocks of any digital system okay next a logic gate is an electronic circuit it can take one input or are more than one input and it produces only one output so that means a logic gate is nothing but one electronic circuit it takes either one input or more than one input and process that input and it produces only one output. Okay. Now, what is the relationship between input and output in a logic gate? The relationship between input and output in a logic gate depends on the particular certain logic okay based on this logic the logic gates are named as AND gate OR gate NOT gate NOR gate NAND gate XOR gate X NOR gate okay here the relationship between input and output is based on certain logic based on this logic the logic gates are named as this seven gates. Okay. So, first one is AND gate. A circuit or a logic circuit which performs the AND operation. That is a logical AND operation that is called as AND gate. Okay. A circuit which performs the logical AND operation that is called as and gate. So, this is the uh, simple diagram for uh, two input and gate. Okay. So, this and gate is represented by this symbol. Okay. It can take two inputs A and B and it produces one output. That output is represented by capital Y. So, capital Y is equal to A dot B. Okay. Here, the output Y can be represented by either A dot B or A inverted B, B or A intersection B. Okay. So, these three symbols we have to use to represent the AND operation. Dot symbol, inverted B symbol, intersection symbol. So, these symbols are used for representing the and operation. Okay. Now, y is equal to a dot b. y is equal to a inverted b b. y is equal to a intersection b. For a two input and gate, the output can be represented either in this way or in this way or in this way. Okay. So, generally and gate can take two inputs or more than two inputs. So, this is only for two input AND gate. This is three input AND gate. It can take three inputs that is A, B, C and it produce only one output. Okay. So, AND gate can take two inputs or more than two inputs but it produces only one output. Okay, here in this three input AND gate, the output can be represented by y is equal to a dot b dot c. 
so y is equal to a dot b dot c or y is equal to a inverted b b inverted b c or a intersection b intersection c so here the output can be represented in this base okay now here this is the truth table of two input and gate okay here zero zero these two inputs are applied as input what is the output so a value is multiplied with b value so zero into zero that is equal to zero next zero into one that is one zero into one that is zero one into zero that is zero one into one that is one okay here how many number of inputs we are taken that is n is equal to two okay how many number of input combinations are possible that is two power n number of input combinations are there that is two power two that is equal to four input combinations are there that are zero 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 one one zero one one these are the four input combinations because we have to take two inputs that is n is equal to number of inputs n is equal to two how many number of input combinations are there two power n input combinations are there so n is equal to two that is two power two that is equal to four input combinations are there okay here zero zero we are multiplying the uh, 0 into 0 for getting the output that is 0, 0, 1. So here 0, 1 is multiplied that is 0, 1, 0. So multiply the output is 0, 1, 1. We are multiplying the output is 1. In the case of 2 input and gate, the output is value is 1. Either A value is equal to 1 and B value is equal to 1. If the two inputs have the value 1, the output value in the two input and gate is equal to 1. Remaining all cases, that is zeros. Okay. Next, we can go for three input and gate. So, three input here, n is equal to 3. Because three inputs we have to apply. How many number of input combinations? 2 power n, that is equal to 2 power 3. That is 8 combinations that are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is 0 to 7. Total 8 input combinations are there. Okay. Whenever we have to apply 0, 0, 0, A, B, C, these are the inputs and this, this is the output. In this case also, this is the input and this is the output. Okay. So, 0 into 0 into 0, that is equal to 0. A value 0, B value 0, C value 0. Y is equal to A into B into C, that is equal to 0. Next, A, B, C values 0, 0, 1. So, the output is 0 into 0, 0 into 1. Okay. So, the, the outputs all are zeros except this value, last, last input combination. Whenever A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, C is equal to 1, the output Y is equal to 1 into 1 into 1, 1. Now remaining all cases, the output value is equal to 0. Okay. So here, while observing the two input and gate truth table and the three input and gate truth table, so the output value is equal to 1. When both input values are ones, here the output value is equal to one. When three inputs have the value one, then the output value is equal to one. In the remaining all cases, that is zero. In the remaining all cases, that is zero. Okay. So this is the introduction about the and gate. Okay. Now we are going for R gate.